step by step, bit by bit, stone by stone, brick by brick, day by day, mile by mile, make your own way. The most prestigious reward for an institution is to see students soaring high and touching the rainbows of life. The alma mater stands as a nursing cradle to all its children. It's another proud moment for all of us to present before you our ex-student who has recently been felicitated at the Indo-US Summit by RHRD Minister Sri Kapil Sibyl and has been awarded full scholarship to go to Westminster University, UK for his Masters in Investment, Finance and Risk Management. May we now call upon our ex-student, Divesh Bhatija, to share with us his thoughts. A very good morning to one and all out here. Before I would start off, I would really like to thank uh, <clears throat> Sri Shiv Kumar Ji, Sri Shailesh Ji, and all the members on the dais, our director, Mr. Subramaniam Ji, and our principal ma'am, Seema Saini. When I was a small kid, when I walked in the school, in second standard, I just remember one announcement made in the classroom, which I'll never forget. Mr. Subramaniam, sir, made an announcement that said, students, please move to your respective classrooms to raise your assessment. <laughs> I'm sure no one is aware of this rule, what existed long ago. That was any day, any exam. We all were so harrowed with that kind of a system. Every day, we would be scared which exam we could have. Any day, we had any kind of situation to face. We were like, what kind of rule is this? Every parent, every kid was wondering, what kind of a rule is this? We finally got too harrowed and everyone asked her to call it off. 15 years from now, we realized the deep thought behind it. Sir was not only taking our assessment, he was preparing us to face any kind of situation at any point of time. It's a very deep thought indeed and such is our school, our institution. Our institution does not believe in only shaping someone's academic career. It has always been shaping us as a very good human being. Any child who comes into school is just like a normal clay and our school trains them into a skilled pot. I would really want to thank our principal sir, our then principal sir who is now the director, Subramaniam sir, who has supported us all throughout through thick and thin and <clears throat> has always been there as a father figure for me. <clears throat> I must say that every child sitting out here must remember one thing. Every child has some potential but the only turning point is when that is recognized. There's someone present in this auditorium who recognized my potential and that was Ritu Miss who realized that I was really very good at drawing. And that is when I started off teaching a small student when I was in the sixth standard. I would like to thank Ritu Miss and please give her a big round of applause to her. <clears throat> when she made me realize that my drawing was really very good and I could do really well in that. And trust me, it was the most amazing experience to start earning when I was a small kid sitting out there and earning 100 rupees a month by teaching a small kid. I never knew how this would go ahead with my mother being a single parent after losing my father, we all knew that as a growing child I have to support my education and stuff like that. But no one knew how I would do that and when I would do that. And when, when my potential was realized, I started moving on. I started selling perfumes, notebooks, pens to students' house. 
I used to go during my weekends to meet them and sell stuff and started supporting my education. This was only possible because of a special person in my life too, who always gave me a very simple learning. When there is a will, there is a way. Simple, very ordinary thought. But when you think about it, it's simply amazing. I was told that how would you as a school student actually support your education? I knew one thing, when there is a will, there is a way. We had a chance, I grabbed it. Every time you give, you, you've been given a chance, you need to grab it and never let it go. That special person also told me <clears throat> that no matter what happens, never lose your courage. Always go ahead. When I gave in my 12th standard, I was told that I need to support my family and I should rather take up a normal BCom course. There's nothing bad in doing a BCom course, but I really wanted to do a professional course. And doing that means earning a lot of money. My family told me that they could support me but out of past savings. And I was determined that in those three months when I would give my 12th standard, after my 12th, sorry, I would make sure that I would earn that money. Again, that special person supported me all throughout and told me when there is a will, there is a way. I took up a job, I took up tuitions. Everyone around me told me, you're a 12th standard guy, you've just given your 12th, no one's gonna give you a job. I knew one thing that I'm going to get it and I'm going to reach out there one day. I did it. I worked in the morning from morning 6 till night 1 every day and just two days before my name could come into the admission list, I could manage to pay for my fees that day. When I was a kid, my sister always told me, don't dream, just work hard. And I never answered her at that point of time. I just knew one thing, that there are two kinds of dreamers. One is a person who dreams in the night and forgets it in the daylight. And another kind of a person who dreams in the daylight and these are the people who have the guts to turn their dreams into reality. I would like to thank every teacher in this institution who has been a support for me all throughout. I would, if I had to take down names, then it would be like a really, really very long list. So I would like to thank each and every... I would be glad to inform you that very special person whom I've been talking about is amongst us. She's none other than my mother. I would like to call her up on stage and I would request everyone to please give her a standing ovation because of which I have never been able to stand out here. She is a perfect example of being the Indian tigress who took up every situation after losing her husband to bring up both her children no matter what happens. Please, Smita Bhatija.